We are getting ready to dress each other for a week. I can't mess this up too much. That's what he thinks. Okay. Matt has either plain t-shirt, graphic t-shirt, or like a checkered button down. This is definitely something you could see in Matt's closet. Patrick has a lot of clothes in his closet. <laughs> if I go to the store and something fits me well, I'll buy like nine. Matt would definitely be like a gladiator in Olivia Pope's office, suited up, ready to go do battle in the courtroom. So I think in general, it's just dressing him up a little bit more. <laughs> I take the shirt back, take it off, I don't like it. Sizing is always weird because I'm pretty tall. Finding shirts that are long enough but not like stupidly baggy. I think the biggest thing for Patrick, I wanna get him to retire a few items from his current repertoire. He just needs to freshen that up a little bit. This should go forever. Why? They're very old. Maybe we can make him look like one of the like hip young scientists on The Flash. And his job, he doesn't have to be super dressy, so I'd like to find him things that can like be sort of business casual. It's kind of adorable, but also looks like it's a dental hygienist. Obviously I should get it. <laughs> I grew up a very overweight kid, so I'm very always conscious of the way that clothes hang on me. Something that I think Matt doesn't think about as much. Matt and I are gonna have a lot of fun with this, but I also think we're gonna learn what we think about ourselves and what we think about each other, and I think that's an important thing in a relationship. Patrick gave me a very nice ensemble. I got a lot of compliments. The problem was the tie. I'm not good at tying ties. And so I kept messing up and it was really stressful and I was late to work. Patrick had to fix it after dinner. We're on day two. Today we are going out. So uh, Matt gave me a shelf for my drink. And so uh, I appreciate, you know, I now realize mm -hmm. like, I can just rest it there. Just rest nice. it there. I mean, I'm from Texas. That was a big buckle. I know Matt kind of got the shirt as a joke, but we both kind of agree it's, it's cute. What are you doing? Uh, Deciding what? what you need to wear tomorrow. With dressing myself, I like know everything that's in my closet and have a good idea. But with yours, I have to like painstakingly go through every piece. Wow, this has been fun and we've actually learned a lot about each other through this process. Um, I'm looking forward to choosing my own clothes again rather than feeling like a kindergartner and having their mom pick out their clothes. I'm in like a little sweater with a button-down shirt combo underneath. You've been looking incredibly professional lately. And yeah? you've just been standing out like a star in this office. People think I should dress like this all the time, so that's great. But I'm not going to because it's too hot. Matt found out I was going to Dancing with the Stars today. He decided to put me in full black tie attire. Everyone at work all day today thought that I was going on a job interview and I told them the only job interview I could be going on is Ryan Seacrest. I didn't want you to look like a fool. I appreciate that. He doesn't always think that through the same when he's getting dressed. <laughs> It was both easier and harder than I expected it to be. His sort of general trend for me was to dress me up more. And, and you got compliments. Yeah, I got compliments, so I'm probably maybe a little more inclined to do that, just not every day. We talked about a lot of stuff that I feel like hadn't really come up. It definitely like started us on conversations about why we like to wear what we like to wear. And I thought that was important to like learn that about each other. I'm still probably gonna throw some more stuff out though. Of mine? Yeah. <laughs>